Welcome back everybody, this is our RimWorld Future Tech playthrough, episode number 16, and we are back at it. We got everybody mustered up, and we're about to take out some genetic monstrosities here. So let's kill. Time to shoot up some freaks. Oh boy, what's this thing? Spider horse, yikes. Imagine a spider horse coming at you. Chasing you down. Oh man. Ooh, what's that? Boom snake, spider snake. Whew, spider snake, yikes. Oh! Man, we gotta look into some boom snakes. What is that stuff? It's like a toxic chemical or something. Oh! Disgusting, a woman chicken. What? What are they sending us? We don't really need that, but... I'm not going down. He's trying. Randy's trying to lure me down here by the spiders. No thanks. Not, not going to fall for that for some crappy LMG. Alright, now one thing we want to do is... Oh, hold on, guys. Let's, um... I want him to actually finish off these boomaloop relations here. Yep, we don't want those just sitting out there. Alright, very good. Now hopefully nothing gets up. Alright. This is looking a little sparse in here, but... One thing we need to do is uh, get our storage tab open and build some meat hooks. Oh, these things are the best. You can put all kinds of corpses. I think it's 12. You can put 12 corpses on each one of those meat hooks, but, and it's the best. Look, he wants six of my colonists? For six honor? For 15 days? No, no. No, now this one... This would be risky. If this were tribal, I'd probably go for it. But, um... I think this is melee. I'm not sure. I'm a little nervous about accepting it, because it's three total raids. And they're pirates. Slashers, thrashers. That sounds melee, right? Ugh. I want to accept this one so bad. You know how many human corpses that would be? If those were all melee raids? But if it's not, this could end the colony. Because <laughs> we don't really have enough to take that on. Damn. Ah, uh, I so want to risk it. I don't want to lose this playthrough, though. So can't do it. You can't make the risky moves just yet. Not until we get some turrets up, probably. That's our best bet. <laughs> Masterwork, alright. So, oh crap, what do you got? You got a Masterwork small what's your bio all right you can handle that weapon missy you probably need a better weapon don't you yeah that's poor this is gonna be quite an upgrade for you missy this looks like kirkland was the next one to get a get a nice weapon very good. Dennis, what are you holding on to? A chain shotgun? And Rowan's got one of these. Rowan probably needs a SMG instead of that assault rifle, to be honest. He's not really good enough to be handling that weapon. And I know Laren's got a nice one. Yep, he's got a masterwork. Okay. We're getting close. I think we're close to everybody being fairly well armed. I might go ahead and make a chain shotgun or two. Like that is masterwork or better with Gizmo. We'll see. I don't want to waste too many components. But uh, chain shotguns are really nice. You have a couple of those in your firing squad. Just for anything that gets too close. Mm. I wonder if everybody has backpacks. I know that was an issue last time. Oh Jesus, look at that. Well, looks like everybody does. Not everybody has armor though. Hmm. Well, the sensory mechanites is a um, bit of a win-lose because your people actually work faster, but uh, they are in pain. And they have to go to bed and get treated occasionally. All right, whiskers. Good job, my friend. Uh, 
Oh, Gizmo's almost done. It's on to the Devil Strand after that. Okay, where? Oh, sweet. Pulp Goods again? Wow. There's another Masterwork. So, who'd we say? Kirkland? Yeah. Kirkland, you get that. Nice. Well, of course, as soon as I use his bonus, he goes to rest or something. <laughs> Should have looked at that a little bit more carefully, I think. Alright, so let's build a few more of these. Four of them. Um, I don't think I'm going to use all four for Pemmican. One, one of them will probably be for the beer. So, let's do that. Excellent. Now we need to go in. We're going to need to start making some of it then eventually. Because we don't really have that much. But they will get a little buff if I allow them to drink it occasionally. Okay. There you go. You can have beer. Just don't go crazy with it. Mm. Okay, where's that bulk goods trader? Still not here? Oh, there they are. Sparky. Please talk to them in the morning. Might just buy out their steel and whatever else they got. Whoa, whoa. Jesus, what is this? I'm just going to leave that sitting out, guys? That's some delicious ambrosia. What the hell? What were they thinking? All right, now we're going to get rid of the stockpile. Don't really want it there. Um... Maybe we should turn this on so they start to work on some of those stones. Research is popping along, so I'm not too worried. For some reason, I'm tempted to move these batteries. Or maybe just put a door on this area. Yeah, so this is enclosed. Ooh, we got a lot of insect meat. We need to set up a bill. Start using that hay for kibble. Alright. Um, oh, they got some more chem fuel. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to buy their neutronamine. Now it sounds crazy. And their components. Hell yes. Not all our psychite. My bad. Alright. This is a good trade right here. Ooh, sell them all our milk? Sure. They got six beers. What the? Man, those are expensive. $15 for one beer? What the? Ooh. Um, no, we're going to keep the steel helmet. We got a couple backpacks here. We'll sell those. Now, what do you got? Kill switch, Tranquility Lance, Psy Restore Lance. Um, maybe another kill switch wouldn't be a bad idea, right? Let's get it. Bing. Take it. I don't know who's going to pick it up. I'll just let whoever. Uh, Elitex Vest. Mm, I would get that if our royalty pawn was a little bit higher. Speaking of which, it might be a good idea to start thinking about a throne room and uh, a bedroom for a royalty person. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to start thinking about it. <laughs> now, let's do a little planning here. Hold on. Let me pause things. I kind of want to put it over here, but that might not be the best. Um, thinking about raids, potential mech raids or whatever with the termites. Because they'll go for bedrooms and stuff, so... Ugh. Maybe we should bury it deep up in the mountain here. The only thing with that is I don't want him running too... He's going to have to run up here to meditate and stuff. But... Well, let's put it up here. This is a rather thick part. Okay. This will be fine. We'll do an 11 by 11. Actually, let me extend it a little bit. We always want a nice big throne room. And do something like this for the bedroom. Now, if we have any jealous colonists, this will piss them off, and I think we might. I think we might have one or two jealous people, but uh, can't be helped, really. We need this. I want him, because he's got a lot of honor stored up. 
think he's at least a knight. And that means we can trade with the Empire. We'll start getting uh, Empire traders and stuff. And we can send missions to him. So, this is worthwhile. Mm, but we will need some stone. <laughs> Gotta make it pretty. Bah. Look, I might as well just delete these fucking things. I am gonna delete this one, I think. It's barely doing anything in this fog. Another bulk goods. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's cool. We'll take it. I mean, <gasps> SMGs are done. Guess what? It's time for some Devil Strand Dusters. Yeah. All right. Now, these might take even longer to make than an SMG. Rowan, didn't we decide you need something else, right? Yeah. So, currently, Dennis has a chain shotgun, which it's just normal, and it's kind of weak. Like, its strength is pretty low. Let me look through this real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, we might make a chain. Or two. Put those up. Um, copy this. And I'm just going to suspend it for now, because I really do want him working on some double strand dusters. 100%. Oh, mortars. Heck yeah. Uh, well, that changes things a little bit. Hold on. I'm tempted to do nutrient paste, for to be honest. But also that. No, we should stay focused on our security stuff. I don't want this colony to die. <laughs> that would make me sad. Alright, there was one thing I was just thinking of. Oh, we need to switch this out. Alright, so... Copy, paste, paste, paste. Now we will... I'll just go ahead and deconstruct these shelves. If don't need them, there's the frosty beers. Um, Alright, things are looking good. And eventually, once we get some better cooks, they can make other food besides pemmican. We'll, we'll get them making stew and all kinds of other stuff. Alright, so... The dusters, they're, they're coming. They're coming, guys. Don't you sweat it. Everybody's anxious for those beautiful red dusters. They can't wait. One thing we need to do, though, is put, the, put those on hold and go ahead and make some of these. And I mean a lot. You know what? Maybe I can have Giz, uh, Whiskers do this, though. Yeah, absolutely. Hit that up, Whiskey. Whiskey boy. Oh, man, Raid, come on. They're attacking immediately. Tribes people. Oh. Damn, they got some arrows. You can't, you can't underestimate tribes people. Their range is just as deadly. I've lost many people in fucking tribal raids. It sucks. So let's take these seriously. Let's get everybody geared up. We got a couple of traders here. I don't know what they're going to, what part they'll play. <laughs> it might be big, though. We'll see. But, oh wait, I'm sorry, they, are they attacking immediately? Yes, they are. Um, let's get everybody situated. <clears throat> I think we're, we are going to use some gojus. And our combat command. Every advantage, like I said, you cannot take these guys for granted here. Tribals will kill your colonists just as quick as anything else. Crap. Where is everybody else, for God's sakes? What? Why are they standing around? Alright. Ooh, they're hitting every trap in the book. Goodbye. Didn't last long, did they? Looks like we got a couple... Oh, at least one down, though. See that? Grim's the rest of them. I think we're going to go ahead and replace all this wall here now. With that. Here we go. Third wave. We just handily... Um, 
repelled the second wave. Nice. Whew. Well, I guess I overestimated them a little bit. Our colony is, um, they've developed. Their weapons are much better. So I think we're fine. We can definitely handle some tribal raids. Those weren't, that wasn't huge though. That wasn't huge, so that's okay. I think, uh, Randy can still throw greater challenges at us. Now let's get these people freaking captured. Alright. Yep. See, I, I've got that mod just where you can just select a bunch of downed prisoners and hit capture. So let's see if that actually... Yep. Okay, well I told Sparky to do that one. I just want to make sure people are actually capturing stuff. Yep, reserved by blue. Reserved by Kirkland. Good. Let's get down here and save them. Definitely want to... Oh, where are you going? <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Let's get all these people saved, please. Excellent. All right, very good. We'll we'll look them over in a little bit. Well, there's some extra food for us, folks. Yeah. Now, one thing we need to do with this is allow them to put human corpses, basically everything on here, except rotten. So I'm gonna copy, paste, paste all day long. There we go. <clears throat> Still got this fire going, guys. Gonna keep burning till you put it out. Jeez Louise. Oh, it's a, okay. Consumed all its fuel, so now it's out. Well, we definitely need more wood. I'm a little nervous about chopping it though. Cause I know Randy's he's not he's not content with that. No, he's gonna be throwing some more crap at us. Guarantee it. Guaranteed. Now is he making more of these? I think he made no, it hasn't made any whiskers. Oops. Whiskers. I am going to take you off of hauling. It's just, uh, you're better in this room up here. Alright, let's take a look at our people. Fast learner, unstable. Hmm. Prone to random mood swings. Um, maybe. We can't release him, so he might just be a candidate for organ harvesting. Uh, let's look. Okay, slow learner sucks. But they're a good cook, and they can uh, do research. This, one, this might be a yes right there. Psychically deaf, perceptive. And again, I believe that these people are all... Crap, that person's artistic. Natural. Natural. We're going to go ahead and take her, I think. Convert, recruit. Look at you again. Secondly, deaf, perceptive. Doesn't really have much to offer. Nice. Okay. Um, capable of dumb labor kind of sucks. But, what's her health? She's old, too. But she is a natural, so... Alright, let's take her. I want to get some more people meditating, really. Um, that'll be very helpful. What about this guy? I mean, he's a good shooter. Let's go ahead and get him. Honestly, we can't... He's not natural, he's artistic, but we can't scoff at just about any pawns right now, especially combat-ready ones, because, like, I'm going to need to start sending people away on missions and stuff, so even somebody like this who's young, psychically deaf is actually kind of handy sometimes, but, um, yeah, combat-ready. So that just means we're not taking the unstable person, I think, right? Whew. To be honest... They're not bad either. 
I mean, I don't know about Unstable. I've not had a lot of familiarity with this one. So I'm not sure about it. Well... Hmm. Let's go ahead. Let's just take them. Screw it. Four, four new people. I love it. And we'll be able to get them relatively quickly because we have two people with word of trust. Okay. Ooh, this is working. This is working. Let's go ahead and get a door there. Not granite. And I know we'll need some embrasures in here. So let's put those. Where are they? There they are. Marble's fine. Actually, let's do granite. There we go. Help give them a little bit of light. Now, is anybody chopping that wood down? Oh, excellent. Let's get that pulled in, people. Let's carry it in. The worst part of chopping wood is carrying it back. And we're going to need more. Let's get this. That's nice thick woods there. We like that. Yep. Well, there's plenty of traps to be made, folks. Yeah, look at all these corpses on these on this here. That's great. Frees up so much room. It's going to be very nice having a real dedicated cook. Can, and Blue can get back to work. Okay, these need to be moved, kids. Come on. There we go. There we go. I guess I'll go ahead and build one more here for like stew and stuff. We won't we don't have it yet, but um just get ready since we got plenty of steel and plenty of components at this m moment. How uh, how are the red dusters coming? We got two people. Gizmo and Haikuja. So he's uh he's working. He's a little bit slower, but uh why do these work? They must have changed the way these tool cabinets function. Maybe you can only have one. I do have a mod which speeds speeds this up. So, hmm. maybe it's just one of those. I thought it used to be two. But let's deconstruct it because it doesn't really seem like it's helping. Oh, we stuck compact machinery. Hell yes. <laughs> Get out of there, you silly animals. You don't belong in there. Boy, it is nice having some dedicated miners. I'll tell you that much. Okay, probably turn this off. Been harvesting so much stuff. We've got just a mountain of produce. Neutrino, plattles. Alright, drugs are doing well. We're fully stocked up. Nothing really to make at this point. We can't make wake up yet, which is pretty handy to have a little stack of that around, but can't make it yet. We've been focused on some other more critical research things. <clears throat> hmm. What's the range here? I haven't had a very many mental breaks, but uh, people, well, that's a prisoner. But uh, we're getting a couple. We're getting a couple. Ugh. We need to put some flooring in these places. I think it's about time. Well, we got some... Hold on. We got some traps to finish. Are they done? Yeah, no. Let's not overwhelm them because they're just starting to get to this here. Now this is going to be for stew. There we go. Once we get it. I will go ahead and set uh, set a thing for it, even though I don't think we have anybody who can make it yet. It's too high level. Um, not forever, I'm sorry. Do until 50? Well, let's do 100. They really like this stuff. Yeah, they eat it constantly. When you have it available, they'll eat it all the time. Okay, we don't want insect meat. Very good. All right. And I'm going to copy that. Paste it over here as well. Now, while I'm here doing this, let's paste on a 
kibble thing here. All right, we want a lot of this stuff. That um, raw food. I don't want them to use anything except insect meat. Just insect meat and hay. That's all these guys are allowed to use. Bam. Okay. So they can use hay or insect meat. Or both. <laughs> Alright. Get, get. I'm just going to have them drop that on the floor too. We don't have a lot of hay, but, uh, well, we don't have a lot grown, but we'll, we'll get some. It'll start to tumble in. Tumble in like tumbleweeds. Yep, there's going to be a lot of construction that needs to happen here, too, so. Try and lay off just adding floors to random rooms for now. Jesus, this room gets so much traffic. It's so dirty. We do need some cleaning robots for sure. I have to, hopefully we can find a trader. Maybe we can make them. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this mod. The robot cleaning. It's just a cleaning bot. It doesn't add the other ones like the miscellaneous robots. I love that mod, but it, for me what it does is you lose focus on colonists and you start to cross over and just have a bunch of robots doing everything. So I don't like that. I just wanted one cleaning robot. So that's what we've got. Op available. Now pawns will have to do most of the work. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. I do kind of want to use some of this bamboo for some floors. Maybe we'll do it in the prison. I really like the way it looks. Alright, hopefully we got enough. That'll help with any infections and things like that. Any surgeries we perform on these guys in a while. Ooh, strong symbol required. So in order to do that, we're just going to... I don't have a, a ritual room, so I'm just going to throw this down right here. We just won't use it right away, because it's not in a very beautiful environment. But as it stands... Oh, Whiskers, he's made a few. He's made a few high explosives. We've got 17 of them right there. Hmm. Sayuri's got inspired recruitment. Has anybody been converted? I don't think so. No, no, no. Alright, well, we'll try and remember Sayuri. She's not very social. I don't even think she's set to help with the prisoners. But whatever. Strong symbol. Disrespected. Oh, crap. Um, can we put it in here? Would that be acceptable? I don't know. We'll try it. Might have to go ahead and just dig out a room. Next. Alright, that's good for now. Well, we'll dig a, a ritual room next to our throne room. It's the only logical thing to do, right? Make it 11 by 11. Dig it into the mountain. There we go. <clears throat> we also want these dug out, so do that. Alright, looks like our front lines are all taken care of. That's good. Definitely going to put some turrets down here. So one thing I want to do is start setting up uh, no, some, some power here specifically for turrets that we can turn on and off. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, we'll put the power switch there. Okay. Now, ultimately, I want to have two power switches, a redundancy, a backup. But for now, this will work. This will work. Just get that going. Oh, crap. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. 
Guys, you're just about to get nice floors and everything. No, no, Manu. God damn it. She just opens the door straight up. Doop. Do not start shooting. Why are you still carrying around two swords for the love of God? And two of those. Damn it, those things get a little bit annoying sometimes. That sidearm mod. Oh, crap. Damn it. Alright, let's let him come outside. Everybody's going to start flipping shooting at him, though. We can't. We don't want to take them one on one. We're gonna do something like this. We got like three on one. Okay, we got one of them down. Fighting in this doorway is not ideal. Oh, well. There you go. Oh crap. Oh Jesus Christ, stop shooting. Get up here. Temperature unit destroyed crap. There we go. Alright, get out of here, you dum dums. Um Well, we're Desperately going to need to get these walls up here. No. Otherwise, we can't capture these people. Yep, so we need the walls up. And I need to replace the uh, temperature thing. Okay, there we go. Now, can we please get these idiots captured? Oh, Rowan is hurt. Get in there. Get yourself healed. Oh, that person just walked right in. They mainly should just have bumps and bruises. Oh, somebody did get shoot this person. Shit. Alright, they'll be fine. Yeah, it's always rough trying to uh, assemble all your colonists without them shooting at the prisoners. Mr. Roddick, food bench, Waller, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? Gizmo, still working hard. Gotta love it. Getting those red uh, dusters out. They look great, Gizmo. They're spiffy. Yep, he's really... He's really pumping them out now. Stone is looking solid. I'm going to go ahead and uh, suspend this. There we go. God, we need more storage space. <laughs> Woo. That'll probably be the next thing we work on, digging out. Do we get this stuff? Oh, I should probably put this in my zone here so they actually clean it. I should have made this too thick here so the bugs couldn't break in. Darn it. It's alright. It's going to get replaced with granite, but... Whatever. Or marble, maybe. Yeah, probably marble. Oh, 
Yes. All right. Now from gun turrets, I'm coming over here and we're going to work on some of these more complex turrets that I've got from my mod pack. So let's go for that. So honestly, I don't even really want to waste the steel and stuff on regular turrets. They're so crappy. I want to get the next level military turrets. That's what we're going to start placing. I uh, wish we'd run into another vein of steel, though. That'd be nice. War Merchant, we'll take it. Sell all this garbage to him if we can. Broja addicted. Now, floor-wise, let's do something quick and simple in here. Floors. I just want to do some granite pebbles. Um, maybe not pebbles. Hold on. All these things are the same cost, <laughs> which is unfortunate. I wish there was a variety. There's certainly a variety in looks, but not in, like, quality. So I guess we will just go with the granite pebbles. I'm not super concerned about the look of it. Not in this room, at least. All right, and that's good enough. That'll take him no time at all to make that either. Sparky's down. Blue, can you come trade, please? Oh, wow, look at that. They are really close to another level on the animate tree. And we got four, well, three natural pawns getting ready to be recruited. It's freaking amazing. Let's get rid of all this. These people probably have nothing for us because they're tribal. So we'll just sell them as much as we can and take their silver. <clears throat> Oops. Just went over, didn't we? Selling them in the dusters. Let's get rid of this stuff. There we go. Um... Well, nobody's picked these up. We're going to have to force somebody to pick those up. That's fine. There we go. Double check. Yeah, they don't have anything for us. Thunder Beast? Huh. <clears throat> nah. If we do any war animals, it'll be elephants. And quite honestly, we should try and get some of these. See if we can get like a breeding pair. Female H10 and a male H10. Perfect. Just a couple Jesus. Look at our chickens. Oh my god. I knew it was going to happen. I ignored it, but I knew it would happen. We got a lot of cows too. Do we seriously? I thought I had this set. Why are they not? Okay, we got one and two. Well, oh, that can't be right, though. One bull. One, two, three, four, five female cows. That's not... Should have only... Yeah, maybe it's because they're pregnant? I don't know. He's getting them... The bull is getting them pregnant is, like, immediately... Oh, crap. So now he's going to butcher pregnant ones. Well, oh well. We've just got a little bit too much in here. I don't know if... I don't know how well the ant grass is going to hold up. Especially if we get some uh, elephants going. <laughs> oh, well. We'll adjust. We'll make some adjustments. We might reduce and cut out the chickens altogether. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, progress is being made for sure, for sure. We are moving right along. Uh, come back next episode and we're going to get into some more exciting stuff. I'll see you then.